Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to check the codes on your car using an app on your phone and a Bluetooth connector. Okay, so the adapter is called the Elm 327. It's Bluetooth and it connects with the app on your phone uh, called Torque Pro. Uh, that's five bucks on the marketplace. This right here you can get it for around 20 bucks off Amazon, eBay. Um, they also have a app on the marketplace called Torque Lite, and that one's free. Um, again, it's free because it doesn't have as many parameters as the Torque Pro app does, and I'm going to show you guys. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you guys want to do is find your 16-pin OBD2 port connector. Mine's right there. Uh, this is a 2001 Ford Ranger. Every car is going to be different. Uh, it's important to realize OBD2 is 1996 and newer vehicles. So, take your Bluetooth connector, just install it, and you should see a red light. Okay, the next thing you want to do is take your key and turn the vehicle to the on position. Don't start it, just turn it to the on position. Okay, next you want to open your Torque Pro app and click profile so for whatever vehicle you're using you can actually input your own profile as you can see I have a few vehicles here I'm in my Ranger right now so I'll just click Ranger so it loads your profile and now that we're connected, let's go ahead and start the car. So, now that the car started, we can uh, explore that. You can see it's got the rev counter right on the front screen, which is really nice. But if we click real-time information, it shows you a lot of different things. So, we have acceleration, revs, AFR, speed, vacuum, even gives us coolant temperature. Coolant, math, AFR, vacuum, This part here is really neat. Uh, it's a complete emissions readiness. So if you are trying to get your car ready for uh, emissions, like an inspection or something, this is something you can actually look at. I actually just erased the codes of mine not too long ago. That's why you have two incompletes, because the car has not run its self-readiness test yet. At least it hasn't completed it. Also, we have this right here, which is really neat. Uh, you have coolant temperature, math, rev, speed, intake, timing, advance, throttle, uh, acceleration, your O2 sensor values. You can have speed, you can have MPG, trip speed, it, it measures everything. Volts. And what's really cool about the Torque Pro app, I'm going to show you guys. If you press and hold on a widget, we can delete it. Add display. So we can select any type of display we want, right? Dial needle, dial meter, half dial. You can even throw a graph. But let's, uh, let's throw a dial meter on, right? If you can see here, everything in green means we can add it. all of these acceleration battery level for my phone trip speed as you can see it's still reading the different parameters it can uh, upload mpg and again all these things with mpg and trip and everything it's based on the profile that you input, whatever vehicle you have installed. Coolant temperature, the load on your engine, RPM, fuel cost, fuel flow rate, fuel remaining, heat 
even says it measures horsepower. I don't know how accurate that one is. And take air temperature. All these. So let's uh let's just add one. Alright, I'm gonna take my bank two sensor. Click it. I can select size of the display. Let's go with the medium. All right? I can then put it anywhere I want. And bam. That easy. It's super convenient. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to, what to do is check your fault codes and clear them. Just go ahead and click the fault code button. And it tells you what codes I have. Right now I have one current fault. It's a P0135 powertrain, O2 sensor, heater circuit, bank 1, sensor 1. And what's really cool about this, all I got to do is click it. And it gives me an option for web lookup. let it load there you go gives you all sorts of different uh, fault location where it's at and the probable cause it's really nice it's super convenient especially when you're trying to troubleshoot something but say you want to clear your codes right go ahead click the settings button up here and top button right there Clear faults in ECU. Gives you a little uh, statement, you know. Okay. Send a clear command. Let it upload. And done. My check engine light is out. But it's important to realize whenever you clear the codes in your ECU. You can see your uh, emission readiness puts everything incomplete. Most vehicles you need to drive at a certain speed, roughly around 50 miles an hour, for 30 minutes or so. Um, every EC is a little different, but you drive at that speed for 20 miles, 30 minutes, you should run through all of these systems again because your computer has to relearn everything. Once that's done, it will stay complete. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys why the Torque Pro is so much better than the Torque Lite, which is free. You can go down here to the bottom left, get plugins. This is all my currently installed plugins. I can grab, um, look at different test results, map view, uh, obviously the real-time information of fault codes, but if you look in the bottom it says get more plugins. These are all the plugins supported by Torque. Uh, Mitsubishi, uh, advanced uh, charts, I can get Nissan, Renault, Infiniti, some more Mitsubishi, some more uh, Nissan, Kia, Fiat, Hyundai, another scanner, a knock detector, a racing meter, track recorder, Mazda speed, shift lights, all of these I can get. And all you have to do is go to the Google Play app and download it. It's it's awesome. It's super nice. Okay, guys, that was pretty much it. Um, I didn't cover everything that the app goes over, but as you can see, it literally goes over so many different things. For five bucks, you can't really beat it. Um, and like I said, the uh, Elm 327 adapter is 20 bucks on like Amazon, and it works great for 25 bucks. You can do way more than a code scanner that you go to Advance Auto and get for the same amount. It's so much better. Um, especially if you are into self-diagnosing own, your own problems with your vehicle. Like, this is, this is perfect for it. Um, yeah, I highly recommend getting the Elm 327 adapter and the Torque Pro app.